Hi guys, how's it going? It's Bandit Stephanie. Um, long time no see. So I kind of entered in again out of nowhere on Friday when I reactivated my um, weight loss surgery Facebook page and you know just kind of threw an idea out there of everything that's going on with me right now. Um, you know and had a thought that maybe some of the things that are going on in my life would be worth coming and you know doing an update on and kind of sharing with the community um, you know I think about everybody all the time and uh, so good time to, to come back I think and just wanted to do hopefully a quick update video and uh, go from there but um just to kind of give a little bit of background on me for anybody who has not seen my channel or my videos before. Um, I am a lap band patient. I was banded in March of 2011. So I'm a little over five years post-op lap band. Um, my highest recorded weight was 313.6 pounds. Um, I hit my goal weight of around 145 pounds in about 11 months. So that was in 2012. And then 2012 was the year of my plastic surgeries. I got an arm lift, um, a breast lift and implants, and then also a lower body lift 360. 2012 was also the year of a lap band slip that I had towards the end of the year, in um, which my surgeon was able to go in and salvage my lap band and reposition it. But, um, you know, a very scary thing and, and thought at that point that I was gonna lose my band. Um, so then I think the last time I made a video now was in October of 2014 um, where I had come on and said, you know, I found my groove, um, my weight range that I was living within was 160 to 165 pounds. So since then, um, it was probably only a month after that that I decided um, to quit smoking. I, I had smoked throughout my whole lap band. And obviously, you know, one of the reasons why I didn't want to quit was um, I knew I would gain weight. Um, but I had met my now future husband and, um, you know, I didn't want him to know that I did. So I figured what better time than now to quit. So that was in December of 2014. Um, I quit smoking and my weight went from a range of 160 to 165 to now 170 to 175, which I kind of knew uh, was to be expected with the slowdown of the metabolism. And I, uh, I fought it, you know, I worked out twice a day and it just seemed to, you know, I, I, I don't think I was gonna be able to fight that. So um, that was fine. I, I still maintained my exercise, my diet, um, so kind of started living in the 170 to 175 range, um, but much healthier, you know, being a non-smoker. So um, then shortly after, um, my husband and I uh, got married uh, last year. So he put a ring on it and then uh, we got married. Um, and then right away uh, found out that we were expecting. Um, so I um, am currently pregnant. So I thought that, you know, it, it occurred to me that, um, like some of you have said on Facebook, there's not a lot of long-term lap banders, um, but also one who is post-plastics who is now going through a pregnancy. So something that I wanted to document myself, but also to use uh, to, to help you guys and, you know, answer questions and just kind of get some of that information out there so you know what my experience is so that if um, that's something that, you know, you guys ever face, you can at least see where somebody else is coming from. So, let's see. Um, so, we found out I was pregnant. Um, my husband and I did not try very hard. So, what they say about uh, you being more fertile if you exercise, I think that's definitely true. And we found that to be true for me. So, we we're obviously very excited. Um, and I will show you, here's our little bundle of joy that we're expecting in July. Um, we're having a little boy. So I'm now 26 weeks pregnant. Um, so obviously, you know, a lot of emotions going on when I found out I was pregnant. Um, you know, my plastics, am I going to ruin those, uh, my results? 
am I going to put on, you know, 70 pounds like I've, I've seen in the past, um, you know, what's going to happen? So anywhere from joy and excitement to completely nervous and scared. Um, but so I also knew with having a lap band, there would be some, some sort of adjustments that I would need to do along the way. Um, so my pre-pregnancy weight, um, was 175 pounds, as I mentioned. So that was, you know, what I was when we got married. Um, so my, my starting pregnancy weight, I documented as 175. Um, I wound up seeing my lap band surgeon, um, about 13 weeks into my pregnancy. And he like, he said he likes to see weight loss surgery patients once a trimester, um, you know, for a lap band, if you need to get an adjustment or just to kind of keep an eye on everything. Um, but when I saw him, you know, I asked him, you know, what, what's your procedure? Are you going to take all of my fluid out of my lap band or a little bit at a time? And, and he said that the biggest mistake he could make would be to take it all out. Um, that in the past when that's happened, typically you'll see very large amount of weight gain, not only in the mom, but also large, uh, birth weights. So it made sense to me. So he took out half CC, um, at the end of January and I will go see him again in the end of May. Um, at which point, you know, he will probably take some out then as it'll be, you know, um, maybe six weeks before my due date. Um, so, but at, at, you know, this stage it was kind of, like I said, you know, I had all these emotions going through my mind and, um, you know, what's going to happen with my weight with everything I've worked so hard for. And then I had a couple thoughts to myself and it was, you know, the one thing I have going for me, um, post birth is I have a tool, my lap band to help me get back to my pre-pregnancy weight. Um, I also have the tools of, you know, exercise and eating healthy to help me get through the pregnancy without hopefully gaining um, an enormous amount of weight. And also, you know, my body is used to uh, carrying a lot of weight. So um, my body's good at uh, having a big belly to lug around and bend over. And, you know, my ankles can handle carrying a lot of weight. So I figured, you know, if nothing more, hey, my body's... Um, my body will be just fine with the pregnancy weight. Um, but as of right now, so my current weight, I weigh myself once a week. Um, I'm 26 weeks pregnant and um, I weighed in at 197, so I've gained 22 pounds. Uh, my doctor would like to see somewhere between 25 and 35 pounds. So I'm kind of close to that. And if I had to guess, I'm guessing I might go over it um, by a little bit, but I don't think by too much, which is actually, a victory in itself to me because um, you know you hear a lot of the uh, eating for two and just kind of do whatever you want during pregnancy and I keep reminding myself of of my eating habits that I've um, been incorporating for the last five and a half years so I um, don't really eat junk food I eat maybe about 300 extra calories a day as they advise um, I still exercise, but I take it pretty easy. So I basically walk and we'll do the elliptical depending on how I feel. Um, I'm not doing cardio kickboxing or um, some of the classes at the gym of the lifting that I was doing, pretty strenuous. Um, my doctor kind of put a stop to that. I had a little bit of complications at the beginning of my pregnancy where I had to basically just sit and rest and not do anything. So, um, you know, just kind of trying to take it easy. But, um, you know, as for being pregnant post plastic surgery, um, you know, obviously a concern was with my lower body lift, how is my stomach gonna stretch and do with that? And my doctor actually said with my incision that I have on my stomach, if for some reason I need to get a C-section, they could probably just go through that incision, which would be nice. Um, but I also think that the lower body lift has almost helped me in a way because I feel that it's held me in um, a little bit tighter and longer than, you know, how even though it's my first pregnancy and it takes a little while to pop, I don't think that um, I've popped as much as some have. And I kind of attribute that to, you know, the muscle tightening where I can kind of see the, you know, muscles uh, tight on the sides of my stomach. 
um, but I think it's kind of helped me to keep myself in a little bit longer uh, without showing too much. Uh, I'm getting to the point where I am though, but that's okay. Um, I'm embracing it. But uh, another concern is with the breast lift and augmentation, um, you know, the ability to breastfeed. So, you know, it was a, something that I talked about with my plastic surgeon uh, four years ago, which at that point, you know, I didn't know if I'd ever have kids and um, I made the decision to get my plastics done then, um, you know, regardless. And uh, as he said in my uh, OBGYN now, has said the same thing where if it was just an implant where they put it under the muscle, which is what mine um, did and what most surgeons do these days, there really wouldn't be any issue. You would most likely be able to breastfeed for sure, but it's the lift um, that could affect the ability to breastfeed because um, of all the severing they do of the nerves and then having to put it all together. So my surgeon had said, you know, they would do their best to um, you know, get everything back intact so that I would have the ability to breastfeed. But at this point, I won't know until once I give birth and, uh, you know, try and see. So my hope is that I can. Um, but if there was something that would stop me, it would be either due to the lift or just maybe my inability to, um, regardless of the, that plastic surgery. So it's hard to say. Um, but then I also had a brachioplast uh, arm lift as well, which, you know, hasn't really been affected too much other than some of, I'm losing some of my muscle tone with, with not doing some of the classes that I was but um, you know as I said that having the tool that I have post birth and uh, you know the just changing my life as I have over the last five and a half years um, does make me feel confident that you know once I have the baby I'll be able to get back to you know my normal routine that has become my norm um, so, uh, like I said, lots of emotions uh, with the pregnancy, um, but I'm trying to think if there was anything else I really wanted to update. Um, you know, one thing I guess that's a little difficult is, so I said I weighed in at 197 uh, this weekend, and so as I'm approaching the 200s, you know, it was such a big deal to get into Wonderland years ago that now going that opposite way, and knowing that I'm gonna enter that here soon, but that it's okay. Um, you know, definitely is a little bit of an emotional ride because to to see the scale going up, but knowing that it's for a reason and it's, it's gonna happen um, is definitely something different than I'm used to. So um, I, I would love to document this journey for myself and for anybody out there who may in the future be going through this or going through this now, um, but, you know, you're getting a, a perspective from a post weight loss surgery, post plastics patient um, going through the first pregnancy. So I'm gonna cut this off now before it gets too long, but um, you know, I, I will um, answer any questions if you guys have any questions or wanna see any videos on anything in specific. My plan is to, you know, once a week kind of come in and check in and um, I'll be recording my, um, waking throughout the pregnancy, um, which at this point will start to uh, drastically, I think, at least, you know, they say from here on out, maybe a pound a week um, as the baby gets bigger. As of right now, I think he's about a little less than two pounds. So to think, you know, in the course of the next 14 weeks, he'll go from, say, two pounds to at least, what, six, seven, or eight or more. Um, so there's, there's going to be a lot of growth uh, in the next 14 weeks. So... Um, I miss seeing everybody and, uh, you know, I appreciate you guys um, welcoming me back and uh, I'll talk to you guys in a week or so and um, hope everybody's doing well. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.